All right, whenever you're ready, Dale. We're just down here today. I've come down to uh, clean this fish that we caught uh, last evening. There's a few snappers starting to get around, so if you're lucky enough to live within 5Ks of the ramp, it's worthwhile going out for a fish. Uh, we've got a new, there's a show coming out soon. Uh, can't really say what channel it's on yet, but it's gonna be a show about fishing. There's gonna be 10 half an hour uh, episodes with uh, Brett from Reedy's Rigs. Um, it'd be worth watching. So today I've just got this nice snapper that we caught and I've come down here. I've actually forgotten my bit of board, which is a bit of a bummer, but gonna uh, just go through the basics of how to uh, how to fill it a snapper because a lot of it's all it's all well and good going out and catching your fish but the main thing is when you catch your fish that you're prepared that you have ice in your esky so you're not just leaving them float, floating around in the water all day long and you've got to have the ice it's important that you you look after your fish and you maintain your fish so then when you go to fill them they're still nice and fresh and the, the, the fish is actually firm which gives you a good uh, good base to start your filling and when we fill it a snapper you've got the wings I just go over the wing like that. I come down like that behind the head bone. And then we go along the backbone like that. And it's it's pretty important to have a, a sharp knife. And you, you just go along the backbone. And you, I don't scale my fish because once I've got the fillet off, I sit that fillet in a tray in my fridge overnight so it sets. And then the next morning, the next day, it's so easy just to, uh, to skin that fish. So I just go along the backbone and, and, and make sure I'm keeping hard up against the uh, I'm keeping hard up against the frame of the fish. All right, and then just go down like that. And we go through to the other side like that. And then just come along. We've got the rib cage there. You can get a pair of second tiers and go over the rib cage. If you prefer to do that, let's go over the rib cage like that. And there we've got that beautiful fillet of snapper. No waste. No waste. And as I said, I just put that on a tray overnight so it sets nice in the fridge. And then the next day I just skin that off. Then we go down the middle here and take that middle bone out. And we've got two beautiful, nice big bits of fillet, big flesh, and then we just put them into uh, into fillets. It's probably a bit fresh, but I'll give it a go. Just skinning it off, like so. Saves you scaling the fish. There's no waste. Okay. It saves you, saves you scaling the fish. You don't have to waste your time scaling the fish. You've got that beautiful fillet of snapper there. Just go down, down the backbone like so. Right, and then you've got that row of bones down the middle. You just take him out like that. And then we just cut the fish into fillets. It's probably not, it's probably hasn't set properly. It's a little bit awkward to cut them into fillets at the moment, but that's all I do. Just, just go like that. And I haven't got my board here, which makes it a bit hard. I just cut in the nice fillets. Like that. Not too thick. Uh, yeah, it's important not to cut it too thick, and that way you've got a nice fillet, you can either batter that or you can crumb it and it doesn't take very long to cook and then you've got beautiful fresh fresh fillets of, of snapper. So what about up here to have this bit? That bit there that a lot of people actually do like the things. They just put them in a pan and um, a bit of oil on that and they cook up all right. Uh, yeah, so you don't waste that. You can make soup out of it. Um, I've got Ma Maori friends that absolutely love the fins. I keep all the fins and all the heads. All the heads and the fins from the Maori fins and absolutely love it. So this piece here, I just cut him into a nice fillet like that. Look at that. Now anyone, a lot of people don't regard snapper as a 
top eating fish because it's not done properly, it's not, not cleaned properly, it's not filleted properly. That will eat as any, good as any fish you can possibly get. So yeah, maintain your fish, get some ice in your boat, yeah, fillet them off, sit, let them sit overnight, then the next day, very, very easy to do the job. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll give you a, a few tips on uh, how to clean your snapper. And good luck this season, boys. <laughs>